Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the United States. Uh, so I am recording this video back to back with the last one. The coffin has already started, so I'm really hoping that I can get through this one so that we can have this video out at a decent time on Monday. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be like 4 in the afternoon or something when I get this out. So uh, really hoping I, I can get this recorded, but that does mean that I haven't uh, you know, read any of your guys' comments on the last video. Uh, and yeah, like I said, uh, it might be a lot more cuts than there was in the last one due to you know coffin and stuff that's kind of really kicked up here. Because uh, I really have trouble getting through more than one video right now, but kind of have to uh, because I work all day on Sunday So yeah, let's go ahead and get started guys. Uh, we can just go ahead and pause it I think everything about everything's taken care of now as far as these guys training up here Some of you guys are like, oh, why are you doing that? Uh, we're not gonna do it We're just gonna do it until most of these guys get trained up and then we'll pull some of them out I just don't want to uh, and we got amphibious operations excellent That also means that they have finished up theirs Japan now has their claim on us We'll have to see what they do Soviet Union now has their claim on Turkey. Once again, we're going to have to see what they do here. Now, remember, we're working on our own claim against them. Uh, we're going to want to check out our diplomacy here. Uh, no, with ourselves. Uh, we're going to see where we're at over here. First of April is when we're going to have this. So if they declared war on Turkey, they could defeat Turkey before we ever were able to get involved in it. We do have free dockyards. I'm guessing we just got finished with the, yep, the battleship. So let's go ahead and get a, another battleship building up. Uh, I think we're probably going to have them moved over uh, or move our no 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 it's fine we'll keep on building over here in California I can always change it up later uh, let's go ahead and get this battleship going over here and we can always move them too ships move fairly fast so we want to get our next level battleships yeah battleship threes we actually have interesting uh, let's go see if we can change these guys up a little bit it looks like we've been spending our, our experience on them uh, recently let's see if we can get uh, we can't put it into all, unfortunately, but hmm, let's see if we can get uh, maybe the armor and the, the engine up a little bit. Uh, that will decrease reliability by a bit, but I think that's that's fine. I think this looks pretty good, guys. It's only by 0.4%. It's not an issue here. Uh, let's go ahead and save that. Uh, this is going to be the Alpha 3s. Let's go ahead and decommission the Alpha 2s. Uh, and even though I don't think we ever built any of the Alpha 1s or the Alpha 2s, uh, let's go ahead and get the Alpha 3s building up over here. Uh, put them right underneath the uh, carriers. I'm going to go and get whatever dockyards we have assigned to that. Is really all we have? Oh, that's because I, I pulled uh, all of them got assigned over to here. Uh, let's see what we have to go into this. I'm going to get like, that last dockyard going over to here. Uh, and let's get them assigned to San Diego. Okay, excellent. I want, oh wait, hold up. I think I messed that up a little bit. I don't think they're, oh, they, okay, they are on infinite. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look at this fleet here. I want to see how they're doing. Uh, and it seems that, uh, okay, we just finished a battleship over here. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and take, uh, take these ones and merge them and see what we want to do. I'm fine with having 10 battleships because we don't really have any heavy cruisers here because we're not really building those anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with 10 battleships over here. Uh, it looks like I did mess this up a little bit though. Let's go ahead and, and get these uh, submarines out of here and put them into that submarine fleet there. Yeah, I think this is looking good. Let's just see what the size of this fleet is right now. It's 53 ships, not quite large enough. We're going to have to keep on building out. Uh, and let's just see what happens with the war. I don't know um, if Japan's going to declare war first, if they'll declare war at all, if the Soviet Union is going to declare war on Turkey. Uh, we're really just going to see. It's kind of exciting. That might very well might happen in this episode here, guys. Uh, I would like to get that one in time, but I feel like we have a lot of other things that we need to get, uh, you know, more importantly right now. I mean, there's really not a lot of these that we really need to get right now. Uh, obviously, we don't want to keep on continuing on this one. I don't think that, yeah, we can't even get any of these just yet, unfortunately. Uh, maybe Liberty Ships is what we want to get for that amphibious invasion speed. Uh, you know, no, no. Let's let's go and get this one first, I suppose, though we do need Naval Bombers as well. Well, Naval Bombers until 1944, so let's get Convoy Tactics. I mean, really, we, there's not too many of these that we need anymore, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's take a look at that if that's what we wanted to get there. Uh, and any other troops that are currently done training? No, not quite yet. Uh, like said we'll keep on waiting until at least a couple more of these divisions get trained up and then I'll just pull out the ones that aren't trained so we're not losing too much more equipment guys equipment's really not too much of a problem and I, I'm just I'm lazy because it would mess up all the fronts I'd have to sign, reassign them to the fronts and really just don't want to do that guys that's that's the laziness talking right there can we move our submarines over there uh, I think we might do that these 18 submarines uh, well actually we have a uh, 19 submarines let's go and get them moving over here uh, over to where are they at the Philippines that's right uh, get them moving to combine with this fleet here uh, because 
that fleet got decimated in that that war, man. They got tore up. Are any of these almost done? Yeah, we got a couple more almost done. Once those couple ones are finished up, then we'll uh, uh, we'll do our thing over there. Uh, you know, pull those guys out, and so that we're not losing any more equipment over here. Anything else over here that needs to get done? I don't think so. I don't think we have any more divisions coming to Europe right now. Uh, oh yes, that's right. We do have. Um, okay, this is uh, for our our claims here. Uh, we are. Eyeballing Soviet Union. Uh, where where are they at? That's right. They are here. Let's get them moving. I think that's the only ones that we have ready right now to move over to Europe. Uh, and they're going to be going over here, I believe. Or uh, we could have them leave Mecklenburg. It doesn't really matter. I suppose that'll work fine. Because it's the same amount of uh, province, sea provinces that they're moving through. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and put them in that one. That's the larger one. Uh, get them going there. Because they're going to be, uh, what we're going to be doing with our Marines, guys, is we're going to be attacking Leningrad. Uh, we're going to launch a naval invasion on Leningrad. Uh, and hopefully it succeeds. We'll have to see. Uh, yeah, still, these guys are still a lot of troops that need to get trained up here. Uh, their experience isn't looking all that great. It's going to take them a long time before they're really ready. Uh, got our submarines coming over there. I wonder what we want to do with all these divisions here. I don't really feel like we need as many over here anymore. Because, I, I mean, I don't know. Because I, I just don't know what's going to happen with Japan. I don't think they're going to get frosty with us. I would think they wouldn't. I mean, come on, right? I mean, we're the, we're the United States. They have... Uh, what do they got? Eight divisions. Uh, I would hope that they win it. Uh, I just, I just hate that the the peace treaty happened the way it did, and we weren't able to get them as a, as a puppet of ours. Uh, if that had happened and we had had their assistance against the Soviet Union, the Comintern, that would have been incredibly helpful. By the way, there was a couple countries that I did forget to look at when we were kind of going over all those countries. Uh, one of them was the Soviet East Indies here, uh, looking at them. And man, the coffin fits have started, guys. Uh, over here, 19 divisions and 6 ships. 400 something planes. That was one of the countries that I forgot to look at. Also, Afghanistan, uh, another common turn country, didn't look at. 14 divisions over here. Uh, and then there was a few uh, allied countries, at least one I'm thinking of, uh, Mexico over here. Uh, we did not uh, take a look at them. Uh, they have 50 divisions and 508 planes. So, you know, Mexico is kind of a, you know, a game changer in that kind of outlook. Uh, although, I guess. Let me just, what was that? Afghanistan, what, 20-something? Am I wrong? 14? Uh, yeah, so th they definitely, you know, overrule both of those two with their 50 divisions if they send them to the European theater anyway, or the Asian, wherever, it doesn't matter where they send them. If they send them into the fight, uh, that's a lot of divisions, guys. Quite a few divisions, so hopefully Metsuko gets those involved. I want to say that I forgot somebody else, too, on the Allied side, but I can't recall who it is now. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea who it was, but I could have swore there was a second country uh, that's on our side that I had uh, forgot. And I looked at Greece. Pretty sure I did, yeah. Uh, oh, Ireland. I mean, not that they're... They, they have eight divisions. Uh, but, you know, eight divisions this is something, right? Uh, maybe that was what I forgot. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but, yeah. The, it, oh, damn. Look at that. Marines already there. Uh, you guys are really selling fast. You guys are ready to get in this fight here. So we did finish our light uh, cruisers over here that we are, are about to upgrade to the next level over here. Uh, let's see where they're at. Apparently, I just blew right past them. Yes, light cruiser threes don't really have any navy experience to really do anything with them. So we're just going to have to make use, uh, you know, with the... You know, the basic carry, uh, light cruisers here. I don't know why I blew them up so high. Let's go ahead and see how many we have. I think we had, yeah, I think that's how many we had assigned there. Excellent. Uh, and assign them to California for now, as long as we're building this fleet out. Uh, of course, we could move them over here as well. Uh, but I want any extras over here because we're going to be moving over to that Pacific fleet. And that Pacific fleet is, is not as strong as I would like them to be. Let's go ahead and take... Uh, yeah, these guys are coming over here. Yes, all destroyers and our light cruisers. Uh, what are we looking at right now? Uh, for Nemitz's fleet, 56. Not quite large enough yet, guys. Probably get it up to like 70, 65, 70 ships or something like that. Not entirely sure. We'll just have to see how it, how it's looking at that point. Uh, and we'll have to see what how much, uh, you know, of the... Um, you know, the port they're actually making use of. And we have our civilian factories done as well. Excellent. Let's go ahead. I kind of feel like we should build some more military factories. We've been focusing on building a lot of other stuff right now. And I think we should, yeah, we should build a few more military factories. Obviously, this, you know, it, we're doing a lot better on equipment, but we can always make use of more military factories. Oh, look at, got some areas open over here. All right, excellent. Uh, anywhere else, that's a 50%. 
not really seeing it, guys. I'm saving some of these good spots. If you, if you notice, there's still good spots. Uh, I'm saving some of these for uh, once we get the the uh, nuclear reactors. Uh, I want to be able to get those built as quickly as possible, uh, so I don't want to be, uh, you know, have all of our best spots taken up. Uh, we can keep building over here in our allies' lands. Let me just see what Austria is working with right now. Uh, if they need any assistance, they got five military factories, 12 civilian. Let's go ahead and give them some military factories. And we'll give them, I don't know, one military factory or something like that just kind of help them out over here we'll build them too sure why not uh build that out do we want to give germany a another military factory yeah i think we do let's get them another mil military factory too i just want to make sure our allies are, are strong you know what i mean uh how about over here in korea uh do they have any room left they do not have a lot of room left for buildings so we'll just let them continue building in their areas that's fine uh and then over here i think we'll get one more military factory going uh, yeah, one more right there as well. Well, we kind of really need to build out over here, don't we? I forgot about that. We're still trying to annex them. Uh, so let's go ahead and build out some of these, uh, these, these here islands. Uh, just until we get them annexed. Uh, and I think that's probably good. Just get them all up to five. Uh, and I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Hopefully it will be. I really want to get that done with. And it looks like they're already trained. We might as well just leave it, leave it as is. They're just about there anyway. 93%, 94%. Uh, just have them all fucking training. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, I could always pull them out, but it's going so quickly uh, that we're going to be done here uh, very soon. I meant to pull them out, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. It is absolutely fine, guys. And I think our Marines probably will be done. I really want to pay attention to these guys, though. I don't want them training any longer than necessary. They're almost there. Uh, here we go, 99. There we go. Excellent. Let's go and stop that training. Uh, and then I want to take a look at our Marines. Where are the Marines? Are they in Europe yet? Here they are. And they're coming. Excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to create a army here. Uh, they're going to be in Central Europe. Sure, why not? Even though technically, you know, it's not going to be in Central Europe anymore once they do their attack. Well, as far as colors and stuff like that, we're going to get, we're going to just get a nice, uh, well, that's pretty light there. We're going to get them like this here. Um, although this is getting, probably going to get really, really confusing here, all these these colors. Uh, we'll give them that though, so at least their symbol will be different. I really like that color, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and get them a, uh, it's not going to be patch. I'm not quite sure we're going to use where we're going to be using patch yet, uh, it's probably going to be the airborne, uh, is what I'm thinking, the ones that are going to be attacking Warsaw. Uh, yeah, probably. That, that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and get this, uh, these guys assigned with... You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and assign the, the what is it, the blue army? Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, they didn't have anybody. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and give them patch. I thought we were going to be able to take their commander uh, and then have them... Uh, have him moved over here, but yeah, that's not gonna be the case. But that's that's fine. We'll we'll go ahead and give him Griswold, uh, and then he's going to be launching his invasion, naval invasion, of Leningrad. There we go. Excellent. Uh, so I know they they of course can't do it. Um, how many days of that of training? 17 days. We're gonna be getting five more divisions, I believe. So it's gonna be a total of 10 divisions. Awesome. We've got uh, a light armor and a medium armor tank done. Okay, lovely. I don't think we're gonna keep moving. We can probably now that we're not really. Yeah, you know, let's let's do it this way. This is just far far quicker. Uh, you know, the sea travel than even the railroads. Uh, so let's have them go over here, uh, and then just yeah, take the, the sea travel over there. Uh, before I don't I don't know why I wasn't doing that actually. Um, yeah, it would have been probably smarter because they travel so much quicker on the seas. Uh, well, before we do this, do we have anybody else that's currently trained up? No, we do not. All right, let's go and grab these guys uh, and get them going over to Europe. Uh, where are we going to put them in Europe? I'm not entirely sure just yet. Mountains, not the best place for tanks. Uh, I do want a medium tank over here. I almost want to put a bunch of tanks over there uh, to make sure that we can move through Spain as quickly as possible. I think that is exactly what we are gonna do. Yeah, let's get these guys going over to Gibraltar, guys. Uh, let's see if we can, you know, push into Spain, you know, real quickly. Those medium tanks, I'd be shocked if Spain has an answer for our medium tanks. Uh, they probably won't. So we'll be able to make really make use of those to to just run over the this, this Spanish divisions, or that's the ideal anyway. Uh, and we have a few more medium tanks done anyway. So if you're concerned about me not putting them into Europe, uh, do not do not be concerned because uh, we are good to go. Uh, let's get these guys going over there, uh, and then we're going to have, I'm not sure, I'm going to go take a look at the, the situation uh, in Europe, but I think we need them on these uh, fronts against the Soviets here. That'd probably be uh, wise, like one in the blue army and one in the red army. That's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get them moving over there now. All right, excellent. Uh, and yeah, we're just really starting to get troops trained up here. Another one uh, is done. That's lovely. Uh, are they happen to be... No, they are not there. Where are they at? Is there a port down here? Yes, there is. You guys don't even need to move. 
Okay, excellent. We're going to put them into, uh, I guess we'll just put them into Germany too, uh, because they're probably going to be uh, in the same uh, area somewhere. Somewhere over here. All right, go ahead and go over there. Okay, so things are looking pretty, pretty good. Obviously, uh, we're not. There's a lot of fronts. We are not manning. There's barely any divisions on these Italian ones. Uh, not enough against the Soviet Union. Of course, we got to get more divisions over there. Uh, we don't have anybody in the Baltics to help defend these countries and invade the Hungarians and Romanians. Don't have anybody helping protect France. Although I wonder if our allies might do that. It looks like they might. I think I might allow them to do that, maybe just put a couple divisions over there. And it looks like we have now got our justification against uh, Soviet Union, and we did it before they declared war on Turkey. They did not declare war on Turkey. I guess they weren't interested in doing that. Are you guys seeing this? Reconcile with Japan. That's not uh, concerning at all. So uh, Japan, and this is in the comment, would you, could you believe that that ended up happening? This would be the ultimate end fight here, guys. Japan and all of China joins the the common turn, and then it's a war, you know, between you know all of Asia, pretty much, uh, and yeah, uh, the huge ass common turn against the Allies. Uh, this is gonna be an amazing fight. Obviously, this episode is kind of slow here. We're not, you know, we're not going to war just yet, uh, and just not ready. Uh, but yeah, really, really interesting. Ready. Really interesting. I can't wait for this this war here. And remember, we now can declare war on our own, uh, I believe. Let me double check that. Uh, but yeah, we could. Uh, why did not all of them? Oh, did I push the wrong button? What did I push? I pushed B, I think. V, I mean. I don't know what I did. Oh, they're already out there. That's that's what the problem was. All right, well, let's go and get those guys moving over there. Because I want to check something real quick. Uh, I want to check if we could declare war. We could. We could declare war on them right now and call our allies in, and we could start this conflict any moment that we wanted to. Uh, but I think we're going to wait, guys. Uh, wait to get a little bit more prepared. Now, I know that, you know, as we get stronger, so do our enemies. However, we can get stronger quicker. I mean, we can get techs faster. Uh, our industry is probably blowing them out of water. I mean, I don't, I don't know that for sure. Uh, just looking at them, 100, well, maybe not, 176 to 182 military factories, 140 to 143 civilian. Just looking at our own, uh, yeah, we, we do have a lot more than them. Yeah, we've got a significant uh, more than them. And we're building them much faster. So, uh, you know, we got the industry over them. We got the, um, you know, we got the research over them. So, I mean, we are able to build out quicker. So, also remember, remember a lot of our allies are, are fairly weak. Um, so, but yeah, that's something to consider. Let's just get built out a little bit more, guys. It's not going to be in this episode. Maybe next episode, though. Maybe next episode we'll be ready. We just got naval strike tactics. Uh, let's let's deal with this first. We're going to pull these guys out, uh, get them going to a port over here. Uh, and then with these eight divisions over here, I want to go and get them moving. And we have Marines here that did not join the Army. Well, that sucks. I mean, they weren't even training. Damn. All right, I must have messed something up when I had them assigned. Okay, and that's probably been for a while now. Let's go ahead and get these guys moving. Uh, they should all be in the port. Yes, they are. And we're going to get them moving to their uh, assigned areas. We need more divisions over here. Uh, we have three, and we have two more moving. That's a total of five. That's not going to be enough. Uh, we're going to need, I think, three more infantry divisions over here. So let's get these three going to Gibraltar. Uh, and then the other five divisions. Uh, a lot of these are probably going to be moving over to Germany. Uh, and then we'll kind of dole them out there. Uh, once they get there, because remember, we still have a lot of fronts uh, kind of weak here. Uh, we'll put them over, we'll put them onto this port for right now. Let's put them into Marseille, uh, and then we'll we'll get them assigned when they get there. All right, excellent. Um, and we need to select a uh, tech here. I think we're going to keep going down the air doctrines, guys. I think it'll probably be wise here. We are in a mutually exclusive branch here. We can either go with interception mission efficiency or air superiority mission efficiency. You already know what I'm going for, guys. We're going to get air superiority. I use that far more often, uh, and it's really important, you know, to get in those, those fighters destroyed, obviously. You want to get that done as quickly as possible a lot of divisions almost done training over here let me just take a look at how we're doing on training i think we're gonna go and get more divisions uh we're doing excellent on equipment so let's just keep on building these out here we're still having trouble with some equipment it seems looks like our medium tanks here are just yeah they're just we're not getting them quick enough uh, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and deploy those, and then we're gonna go ahead and get like you know several more of these uh, going over here, and we'll get two more of those. Uh, and I think that's probably good. Uh, might need some more Marines, um, but we'll, we'll wait to get those. Uh, oh yes, and we're gonna be changing these up. Let's go ahead and get them their logistic companies. Yes, let's save that. All right, excellent. Uh, and I think that's gonna be it for right now. Could, could, of course, get some more airborne, but let's just wait on that, guys. I think that's going to be fine because uh, we are, well, we're not going to be short on anything that's going to affect the airborne. Uh, but you know what? It, it is absolutely fine. Uh, we're going we're gonna to wait on that. Uh, I don't think that we're going to need them just yet. Uh, although, 
I'm being indecisive here, but you know what? Let's let's get some more airborne. Why the hell not? Let's get some more screaming eagles, guys. Uh, we're gonna train up. I'm just taking a look at their division design, make sure that they're squared away there, which they are. I'm uh, also gonna make sure that all these guys are assigned to go to our uh, training army, since I made that mistake with the marines there. Uh, let's go and get uh, like five more, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do five more or ten more because yeah, because why not? We have all the type of equipment that they need. Uh, they don't need anything that we currently don't have. Uh, so yeah, everything's looking good here. All right, excellent. Uh, just keep on building out divisions uh, so that we can try and at least uh, have some chance against the massive Soviet army, man. They, they are huge. Uh, also got our artillery, excellent. Uh, and yeah, I'm not coughing as much as I thought I was gonna be. I did take, uh, I ate a cough drop before and it took, uh, I had taken cough substance before we, uh, started recording here so yeah it's it's not going too bad guys uh do we want to go ahead and get the next artillery or do we want to go improved anti-tank and as far as rocket artillery uh we're not gonna do that just yet because I don't, I don't have the experience the experience once we get in war we'll, we'll consider doing that let's get the stuff that we already have in our army this makes far more sense uh do we i'm really not sure what i want to do here because we do need the uh heart attack and the piercing up uh but man the artillery we're making use of that everywhere uh, we'll, we'll go and get anti-tank up. We'll do that first, and then we'll do artillery. That's fine. Uh, available war goal, yes, I'm aware of that. Uh, outdated production, yes. Let's go and get that changed over here. Uh, I'm so used to seeing that now that it's kind of being useless because of the ships. Uh, we had our ships constantly, you know, as we were trying to finish getting them productive, uh, produced. Let's go and get the threes over here. All right, lovely. Let's take a look at our resources. Just three rubber. That's fine. I'm, I'm not going to trade for that right now. Actually, you know what? We do need to take a look at our resources, though. Make sure we're not trading for anything that we don't need to be trading for. No, we're not. All right, everything is looking good there. Uh, and uh, let's just keep on paying attention to these divisions here so we don't train anymore uh, unnecessarily. And, yes, that is going to mess up our Marines. We're going to have to train them uh, over there in Europe. We'll get that done here in a second. Uh, let's go and pull these guys out and have both of them moving over here. Uh, and then, although... You know what? You guys can just come here. It's fine. Come here, and we'll send you on your lonesome. Although it seems that I didn't move these ones yet. We have a light tank as well that's ready to move. Uh, let's go and get these guys moving. They can go to Germany. Sure. We'll figure it out as they get there uh, where exactly we're going to put them. Uh, do we want another division over here? I wonder if the Greeks will be able to do this alone. That's an interesting question. Maybe we do want to give them another division. Yeah, when that okay, when that one division gets there, uh, to their that port, which they should be there momentarily. Nope, they didn't take the railroads. Uh, yeah, we're going to get these guys going over here. I want to make sure that we uh, are able to take this. This uh, we need this, absolutely need it, uh, so that we can get control of the straits. That's very important. Got integrated support, lovely. Uh, let's keep on moving down here. Uh, we're gonna go and get our support companies increased further keep on making them a little bit better i think we are going to build out the forts here guys uh because i think what we might end up doing because if you see this <laughs> it's a mess there's a lot of units here uh is i kind of want to get the front i just i'm concerned about them pushing too far forward we had ahead of these armies here i kind of want to get this wrapped up first so i think what we're going to do is just keep building the, the forts out here i think it would be wise and they outnumber us by so much that it is certainly concerning uh, so let's just build out the fives. I don't think we're gonna need any more than that Plus if we get into trouble uh, Where we find ourselves getting pushed back. This would be an excellent uh, point of you know to return to uh, to defend uh, Just in case you never know what's gonna happen. This is gonna be a huge war massive conflict guys um, Like I said, I'm uh, that's all I'm thinking about is just how exciting this is gonna be It's gonna be a lot of fun uh, and over here. We got some more tanks done and we got convoy tactics All right, we'll deal with that here in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and pull these tanks out. Are they in a port? Not quite Let's go and get them over there uh, and then also we need to pick ourselves a national focus uh, we got the convoy tactics, a little bit of navy experience there, which is nice. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and get the Bureau, Bureau of Aeronautics. Yes, I'll grab that up. Uh, that'll help with our naval bombers, although we won't be able to get them until 1944. I think it's fine. Uh, we don't have too many more national focuses left to get, guys. So this medium armor division, we're gonna put them, hmm, where do we want to put these guys? Uh, I think we're, we'll just put them into, we'll get them going into Germany as well. Because uh, I'm sure we'll use them somewhere over here. Uh, definitely need more medium armored tanks over here. We don't have enough uh, to really battle the Soviet Union. Uh, you know, because we did just start getting those guys built out. Uh, but yeah, we're really starting to get the army going. It just sucked that, you know, we have such a more long distance to go. 
uh, to get our troops to the front while the you know common turn is right here. Uh, so they don't have to deal with that as, as much as we do. That's just part of being the United States, though. Uh, and I kind of am thinking that we might want to get some more divisions going to Asia. Uh, I'm very concerned about the Japanese joining the Comintern. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, guys, is we're going to get another line of those medium tanks going. Uh, I, I just feel like we need to get these building a little bit qu uh, quicker, these Sherman Alpha 1s, because uh, they are building too damn slow. Uh, so let's get this fixed, guys. I don't want to be in a situation where we're still waiting on these damn tanks uh, in the war. So let's let's fix this. And also, the coughing is getting out of control, guys. I think we're going to have to be ending this very soon. Uh, we might have to end this now because uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to last. All right, guys, so I just took like a two-minute break just to kind of deal with the coffin here, and I think that we are going to have to end this early, which sucks because it's another early video, but once again, guys, I'm, I'm still sick, so, you know, we got to deal with it as it as it is. Um, just very unfortunate. It's a terrible time for me to be getting sick, especially vacation. My vacation is going to be coming up soon. You know, I was really hoping to get this series finished up before my vacation, uh, and we'll talk about that later when we get closer to it, but it will be in June. Uh, I will be having a vacation, and it's, uh, I'm going to be going out of town, so uh, the video is going to be a little bit light during that time, so... I'm really hoping to get this series done by then, and we'll talk about that when it gets closer to that date. Uh, but for now, um, well, damn it, there's stuff to be done. <laughs> let's let's pull these guys out, uh, put them into uh, that port there. Yeah, but we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys, since I'm dying over here. I'm coughing up a fucking lung. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, next episode, I think we're going to be seeing the war. With the uh, Soviet Union over here, we have the Common Turn, uh, is what they're currently uh, working on over here. And they're going to be increasing communist influence in, in France. Well, there's no France, uh, but in the Franco-British Union. That's that's where it's important. Uh, they're going to be increasing uh, that over there. So that's that's a bit of a problem. Uh, obviously, don't want that to happen, although they would still be in our faction, so it wouldn't be too big a problem. Of course, we can boost popularity there if that becomes an issue. Our FBU is currently working on Royal Tank Regiment. Uh, Japan is working on air production, and I think the only other one we need to look at is Italy with construction repair. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching, guys.